I'd now like to show you another module that's available called the Texture Toolpath. If I click here, here you can see I have a module called Texture Toolpath installed. And what I'm going to do is just create a rectangle here and then go on to Toolpaths. Here we have a new icon called Create Texture Toolpath. So I'll just select that. Instead of the whole model, I'm going to do this within the selected vectors and I'm going to select a tool which is going to be a 12mm ball nose and I'm going to use the default values from the tool. This is just going to be a quick overview of this just so you can see what it actually does and click calculate now go into the 3D view there you can see what it's done is created a texture by using the tool by ramping it up and down within the material so if I just close this and then I'm going to simulate it just so you can see what it actually does so if I just zoom in here here it's created a texture this is just straight off a 2D rectangle and just using the values for the tool. So I'm going to go back onto my 2D view here and this time I'm going to create a circle here. I'm also going to create a line here. I'm going to create another texture tool path and it's going to be selected vectors again and I'll select the circle afterwards because the pattern that I'm going to use instead of a straight line I'm going to use a selected vector so I'll select this vector and set that as my vector I'm going to use this as the selected vector to machine the tool I'm going to use is a 0.2 conical flat and I'll calculate now and let's just see what this gives if I go into the 3D view then you can see it's created quite a weird textured pattern so if I just right click here and simulate toolpath then you can see it's given me a texture there so what you can do is you can create all sorts of different textured toolpaths using vectors and using the default values from the tool. You can also change these values so for instance if you didn't want this particular texture to be so grouped together you could create larger gaps in between it. For instance if I just edit it and the minimum step over at the moment is 1.2 I'll change that to 5 and the maximum I'll change that to 10 mil the step over and click calculate now I'll just reset the simulation and simulate this again there you can see it's spaced out more